I guess you're pretty proud of the way you've, you've done it, the, uh, the draw. It's been a um, it's been a great off season for the footy club, not just in the, the draft last week, but also in the trade period. We've done really well. We've gotten younger every year for a few years. The footy club, but our talent has gotten much better. So it's an exciting future for the club. These blokes you're going to hand the jersey to. They, they look like they've got a bit of promise. It is. Um, they're tall boys. Um, first thing my kids said to me is, um, "Why am I so short? Um, who, who would have believed? You know, you know, this 190 centimeters used to be the key forward and key back. Now it's uh, 200. So yeah, the big boys are athletic. It's exciting." For the club. What's impressed you with having them over here, here in the last couple of days? Um, well, they're all very professional kids, and one thing that the kids are, are good at nowadays is they've been in the AIS system and they know the professionalism required. So they all come in um, at, a, at a much better level than they used to. So, um, as in, you know, their weight's good, their um, you know, their ability to understand the training drills are much better than they used to be. So, yeah, it's a good start. We, kind of longer term, is it important to keep them around? You know, you guys have been great at finding talent. Mm. Yeah, look, we lost some kids a, a few years ago, uh, but with this current regime, we, we, we haven't lost a lot of kids, to be honest. We've had five, seven come in and, and five go out, and that's mainly mature talent, not, not kids. So, look, we, we think we've been out and done that okay the last couple of off-seasons. Uh, it has to continue. We've invested more in the area as well. But, um, look, there's a lot of things we need to do to, to get that right, but uh, I think we're on the way of doing that. You mentioned the kids are all tall. Was height something that you wanted to get into the club? Yeah, yeah, we definitely needed um, some key forwards, um, more so than key defenders, but definitely at, at each end of the ground. I mean, I guess I've been complaining all year that we're missing key forwards, so if we didn't pick up one or two in the draft, I'd look like an idiot, wouldn't I, really? So, um, yeah, we did that. Uh, look, we have to be patient with young keys, though. And the number one pick last year was a key forward and, and hardly was sighted last season, so uh, we can't put too much pressure on our young boys. Brandon was saying the other day that it was... All you need is to is the club to mature a little bit and get some players sticking yeah. for longer. It is a bit of that. I, I feel that our list is together now. It's in order. It's a, uh, you know talent-wise terrific, um, but as a, a maturity level, we've still got a bit to go. Uh, and and why should just like to put old heads on young bodies? You can't. Um, so we, there's going to be a bit of time and a bit of patience. But look, we've, we've, we've still done that for a few years. We've already seen the growth of you know, Sam Mays and Paparone and Clark and, and a heap of guys already. So we're just adding to that, that group, really. You touched on Josh Shackey, then what can you expect out of him for the first year? Before? Oh, two years ago, I would have had to say Shack would be playing pretty much 22 games, as Louis Taylor did and um, Darcy and you know and guys like Dan McStay. We, we sort of threw them to the wolves a little bit a few years ago. But our list is probably at the point that uh, we won't have to do that as much with this current crop, which is a good thing. Um, and we can bring him in um, a, a little bit more when they're ready. And he'll definitely play forward. There's no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's playing forward. Don't worry. Yeah, um, yeah, that's why we got him here. Um, we want him as a long-term key of our footy club. And you mentioned uh, over the last your time at the club for three years, there's been so much of this change over. You think you're getting close to sort of settling down and settling on a squad that you're that you're happy with? Yeah, we are. Uh, we're really happy. I mean, we've, we've had heavy trade, heavy draft the last three um, off-seasons and, um, you know, you look into our list and our club now, it, it's not required. Um, I think from this point our list requires a bit of tinker tinkering and that's really about it. The bulk of the moves have been made and we're really happy and um, and hopeful that the maturity of the group will just grow and grow and we'll get better with every season. Is that a bit of a relief for you? Well, well, it is. I mean, you go through phases and I, I guess... Um, a big part of it's a list call and there's, there's some clubs doing that now that are going through mass list changes as well. Uh, I think we're through those. Uh, we've got the talent on our list. It's now about developing and growing and giving them the exposure. We know you cut the young calves from the herd early on. They were doing a fair bit of running. Is that sort of an introduction to senior footy? Uh, the, ki the kids are always on modified programs and probably do 70% of what the, the rest of the group do. We've got a new fitness staff as well and Damien Austin's a, a terrific uh, fitness coach. He's come from the Swans, a really good program there. He's a, he's a hard taskmaster, don't worry, but he's also very fair and he listens also to the boys. It's a big step up for them, isn't it, in the senior, even the training for senior football, isn't it? Well, it is. They play 18 or 19 games against boys to 22 against men. Uh, that's a huge step up. Uh, so emotionally and physically for them, it's, a diff it's going to be a difficult year. Um, but, and as I've told the boys, I've lived this process that they've lived um, at, at their age coming up, moving into state and and stayed the course and had some good success and I'm pretty confident this crop's got the same mindset.